Hey, this is Nate with Pro Services at Firewalls.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a net rule. So, a uh, use case for this is if you have a server on your private network that needs to be accessible from the internet. First, we will go to Policy on the top panel, find Net Rules on the left panel, and on the bottom left, we can add a new rule. Uh, give it a unique name. Caps locks on. My first rule. Maybe give it a short description and then uh, go down to the first column here where it says original. We'll leave sources any because we will not know where the traffic's coming from. The destination is most likely your X1 WAN IP so go ahead and use the default X1 IP there. Uh, service depending on what service uh, you're offering uh, you'll choose that here or create a new one. You um, can use a web surfing service or a custom one, or one that's default. So for inbound and outbound interfaces, we'll use any because we may have more than one WAN and it may be load balancing. And for translations, we'll leave the source as original. Destination will be the translated server address. Um, we can create a new one by clicking the pencil, adding a new address object. So we'll call it server one. It's in a DMZ zone. And it is a host type. Give it an IP address. And save. Under advanced actions, you can see that we have the ability to create a reflexive policy. And you would do this if you wanted to send traffic outbound through a specific WAN interface which is not necessary in this scenario. And here's all the NAT rules in the firewall and you can filter these out by default and custom default rules or custom rules. If you take a look at the custom rules you'll see that I have my first rule here. Uh, you can expand this and see a graphical representation of the translation. Um, you can also look at enabled or disabled rules used and unused. Also the ability to see IPv6. At the bottom there are options to edit these NAT rules. You can move them up and down, clone them, and you also can start and stop a live counter uh, which will turn these hits green and uh, captures those the traffic statistics. So this is a very common use case for creating NAT rules where you would translate the public IP to a private IP. In this scenario, you possibly have a web server in your DMZ network that needs to be reachable on the internet. Other use cases for creating NAT rules are source NATs, where you translate the source address. In the case that you have multiple public IPs, you can choose which public IP you want to come from or port translation, which is useful when the firewall is acting as a reverse proxy server or web application firewall where it decrypts traffic on port 443 and sends it to your web server on port 80. This has been a SonicWall tutorial with Nate from firewalls.com. If you enjoyed this, found this useful, check out firewalls.com, like, and subscribe.